Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 47. And we're starting off with another Let the App Decide um, as to what painting I'm kitting up next. Um, so a couple of days ago you'll see that I did finish the deer that it had already selected for me last time. That was finished. Um, I may have added a couple more that I've unboxed in there since so when it gets that I can't quite read it properly I'll probably remove some of the ones that I've done but at the moment these are my smaller diamond paintings so these are 30 by 40 or smaller I do have a, a wheel for my bigger diamond paintings um, and I like to do a big one and a small one sort of along the same sort of timeline and I'll flip between them and then I do have a couple of project ones that tend to be on the go one or two normally only one um, at the moment it is my ever moment multi-panel that is sort of the third painting but I do tend to like three so <coughs> it is now time to let the wheel decide what it is that I do next there are many that I really really want to do um, but I am trying to be a very good soldier and let the app decide for me so let's hit that wheel and see if it picks one that I want it to pick autumn couple oh I think I remember what this one is so it has autumn couple and then it does have an O on it what that tells me is that it is on my paintings that I class as other. So if I grab all mine are hooked on um, these trouser hangers. Uh, these are from the range. Um, let me zoom out. So this one does need relabeling. This one was just my landscape pictures, but is now landscape and basically not 30 by 40. So this is Autumn Couple. So this is actually a small one. So this is a mini one. Um, this was sent to me by Lou from Lou's, Louise from Lou's Dotty Diamonds. Um, and she sent me this small one. So that is what the, the app has decided is next. There's a few mystery paintings in there. I was kind of hoping it would pick. Um, but I'm very excited to do this one too. So this one is in round, which means I also need to go hunting into my round diamonds and find the bag that holds that one, and it's here. This is the only thing. I'm not organized with everything out because I didn't know what painting I was doing. Um, so this one, again, is labeled autumn couple. 15 by 20, loose dotted diamonds and in rounds. And I have different drawers on my Ikea shelves that tell me um, I have a, a drawer for rounds, a drawer for rounds from fan cells, because as you imagine, I have a few. I have a drawer for squares and then I have a little tub for special diamonds. So this one was originally from Azuya doesn't have many paint and many colours we only have 15 colours for this one so I only need a small amount of storage we do have um, a key an inventory sheet so I can use that so I need one of my little storage tubs um, okay right I'm gonna go for one of the 28 containers because how many 310s have we got? Four bags of 310s. I don't know if I have a 21 container free. We just have another look, see? Oh, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna use a 21 container. I was very tempted to use this new storage container that was sent to me um, by Michelle. Please forgive me if I got that wrong because my brain's not working. Um, but they're sort of bigger and hold more. And I'm tempted to keep that for a painting that may be coming up. Um, yeah, I tend to like to make my storage as small as possible. And it seems as though I do need to use a really small container for a very small painting. So 
that one will come. So we'll use the 21 containers just because there is a bit of 310 and I would like all the diamonds to go in the storage. I really don't think I should have anything left over for a mini painting. But it's quite good that this painting is, you know, a mini one because then I'll be able to kit up another. I like this let the app decide. It saves me having to make a decision because ever since I got this one, I did want to see what this one would look like. But then every time you get something else, it's like that one's new. It's like they're always constantly, ooh, new, shiny. Tends to be the way it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna get this ready for going through my sticker maker because if I have an inventory sheet, it will go through the sticker maker. It is a rule, it's the way it's gotta be because I do really like it when I can actually see the original. <coughs> so this is a Xyron sticker maker. Oh, I'm getting low, but I've not run out yet. Um, this was gifted to me by a subscriber a while ago. Um, you do need to sort of Google search for a Xyron sticker maker if you want one but they are absolutely awesome basically it puts lots and lots of tiny dots on the back of your your paper and then when you rub over this any of the dots that haven't of course stuck to the back of your paper stick to this top sheet so that's sticky but where the sticker was it wasn't it isn't and it turns that into a sticker and that makes it absolutely great for kitting up. So once I've put the strip through, I will then cut through each individual color and symbol. And I am keeping the DMC number on there as well. That's for a couple of reasons. One reason is I need to know which DMC number to put in which pot. And in turn, when I de-kit, because I do save my diamonds, I need to know which DMC baggie of spares to put them into. So I'm just gonna cut through them all. And then I do expect that I'm not, say the only number that seem to have more of is 310. And I don't think they're all going to fit in one pot. There's only four bags of them. And that is classed as the most. So I'm going to label these all up in the middle. I don't think I've actually labelled one of these pots up yet with um, sticker maker stickers. I think the last couple of times I've used this pot, this storage, I haven't had an inventory sheet. So I've had to create the stickers myself which just, they don't quite look as pretty. You should see the way I draw a star. It is not entertaining at all. Seems to be the one symbol that I should be able to draw and can't. <laughs> and some of these symbols are very weird. So we also have um, a club, like on a deck of cards. Yeah, I wouldn't like to draw that either. So I'm very grateful that they have given me an inventory sheet. It makes, makes things a lot easier for me. So not many colours in this one at all. And there's not many bags of each of the colours either. So it should be a nice little quick project, which will be quite nice to go along with some of my bigger projects in the fact that I feel as though I'm accomplishing and finishing diamond paintings mixed in with not doing. So I'm just going to grab my big tray. This is the tray I always used to use for diamond painting until I started using a 3D printed one. I always used to use this type of big tray. It's much easier um, 
especially when they, when you work on big sections like I do, to tip more diamonds in um, to be able to make your sections a whole load bigger. Okay, can I see the other colours? Let me see if I can just find the other colours for this strip. Well, there's not too many. Let's not be taking strips in and out if we can help it. That is 169. I'll show you this painting or the, you know, the canvas for this painting in a minute. It's amazing considering it is a 15 by 20, how much you can make out the image. In fact, this rubbish bin I'm using is from Lou as well. Um, so thank you to Lou for that as well. I just, oh, it's pretty, I like it, I like using it. Okay, 367. And I think I've done one other painting from Zuya, which was ages and ages ago. It has been a while since I've done a painting from them. So it'd be quite nice to sort of remind myself. I don't remember having, oh, have I done one or have I done two? I might have done, Zuya might have been the one painting that I ran out of the colour. Don't hold me to that though, it was years ago. I know exactly what painting I ran out of the colour. It was a multi-panel that I did for my daughter. My daughter had it in her flat. Um, I just, I can't remember if it was from Zuya, so that's the part that don't hold me to. We'll see. I'll of course report back on how this painting looks when it's finished. I'm just sorry, this is actually going to be a quicker kitting up than I thought it might be. Oh, unless I keep making messes like that. We actually do not have many colours to deal with, but oh, it looks pretty. Okay, 844. Some of the colours in it are gorgeous though. Absolutely gorgeous. But we've got plenty of space in these pots. I can't remember if I can, if it's four I could fit in the 28 containers. So having the 21 container is a great stopgap in between. Especially when you've got a painting with less colours in it. But I know one of them is tied up with um, the deer and the swan. But I've just finished and, and displayed the deer. It was the video on Tuesday. Um, yeah, even though I've just finished that one, I need to keep the diamonds in it because the original painting was a two-parter. But the app chose one part. I actually realised once, I, I think it was once I finished that video, I don't think it was why I was still filming, but I actually hadn't put the part two on the app, so I thought I'm never going to get it done if I don't actually have it in the app. So I have updated, it is in there, it just didn't choose it for this one. So if you have a lot of paintings, can't decide which ones that you want, the decision maker app called Tiny Decisions is what I use. Um, I have heard it can have some problems on Android. So do bear that in mind. Sometimes it does clear what you've selected on Android. I don't know whether they've fixed that or not. Um, but on iPhone, it, it works fantastic. So that's the diamonds kitted up. They're all done. Um, I am gonna peel the label off the front of my mesh bag and I am going to pop it on the bottom of my container. I'm putting it where, you know, it's blank, there's no pretty and that's just to remind me as to what diamonds are in here. As I say, I do like to work on multiple diamond paintings. So to show you the canvas, this is what the canvas looks like. So for a small painting, you can pretty much tell what it is. Um, they are rounds with training wheels. 
so they do have the black circle around them so I'm not sure how clear it's going to be when finished but you can sort of make out the feet and stuff it all depends because it has got a symbol where it's looking white is actually a circle with half of it coloured in um, and that symbol is actually 823 which is a dark blue so it is going to look darker when it's done Question is, how many sections do I split this up into? That is the question. Do I do it as a nine? Mm, no, I think that's going to be too many. I like to work on big sections. I think I might just split this up into a six. So let me get my ruler, my very big ruler. So I'm just going roughly, I'm not measuring it, you can measure it if you want to, but that has split the paper down into two and then I'm going to split it about there and I do try and make it as straight as I can and then I'm going to split it about there. So that has split it into sort of, it is big sections, but six sections. But to me, that's still a small section compared to what I could divide a bigger image up into. Um, when I was doing my latest comparison, <coughs> some of the sections were probably as big as that painting is. Um, okay, so I'm going to take that label off the actual painting itself because what I want to do is I want to use my little labels and I'm going to use the Tiny Decisions app because anybody that's been watching over the past few weeks will know I'm just a little bit obsessed with it um, I really like it so I'm labelling up some square stickers that are available in my shop you get 216 tiny little stickers um, and in this case they have diamonds on them and I've just written over the top the numbers one to six to basically number up my sections you can use these for your pots and stuff as well um, and of course we do them with DMC numbers printed on them but this one had a little smudge from the printer at the top, so. Classed as a misprint, which means it comes to me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, so this is from where it's, it's decided what I was doing. I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna create a new one and I'm gonna call it Autumn Couple. UMN couple which is the name of this painting and I'm going to add in six options and they're just going to be numbered one two very similar to our stickers three four five six done so there we go I now have a where's it gone autumn couple and there it is numbered. Now it does show the numbers twice. Um, that is because um, the way the, oh, I don't want that one. Um, the way the app works, you have to have a certain number of numbers before it does it. So let's test it. In fact, oh, if I go into Autumn Couple, I do need to click on non-repeating selection. That's what ensures that the, the wheel will black out what I've chosen. So if I click on that now, will it do it? So if I pick number one and hit it again, it has blacked out both number ones. Then it tells me to do section six and it blacks them both out. So even though it's on the wheel twice, it's just so that you've got two chances to hit it because it's only six sections. Um, my other one that is 
10 sections, which at the moment isn't being used for a painting, but I don't want to have to keep typing numbers in every single flipping time. So I keep it labelled as a 10 section, and the next time I divide a painting into 10, then I can use this one and just rename it. Um, that one only has each number once. And then once you're done, or in this case on the autumn couple I've not actually started, I can choose to reset the wheel, which puts it, oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, which puts it all blank, ready for me to actually start doing this painting. Um, I hope that makes sense. I do have a video on the actual app itself. Um, and if you go to my website, 4 kids at 147com you can um, see my more detailed description on how to work of that app. But anyway, my next painting is all kitted up and ready to go. So thank you so much to Lou for sending me this. It was a bit ago, but see, I'm doing it. Um, and I love this. It, it sort of, it stops me getting distracted with new and shiny paintings by using the app um, because all the paintings I've got I love and quite often the decision is the hardest part. So at least the decision has been made for me. Um, and yeah, I've now got a nice small painting to work on in between my other projects. So stay tuned. Um, I don't think this one will take me long and we'll do a de-kitting. And then of course, it'll be time to kit up another. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.